Hi. Now we are going to see about radish kar kolamu. First we have to cut all the vegetables. Radish, onion, tomato. And then we have to heat the oil and put mustard, curry leaves, onion and saute it. And then put tomato, radish and then we have to fry it by adding salt. If we add salt, it will fry faster. So we usually add while frying the vegetables. Since it contains water content, it should be fried before making any dish. So we have to fry at least for 5 minutes. So the smell of the radish is very tempting for everyone. Whether we make sambar or karakolambar or uh, stir fry, the smell will be awesome. Now add sambar powder or chilli powder, whatever you have. Then we have to mix it well. After mixing everything, we have to add water to cook. So we have to boil it for at least 5 minutes. For the raw smell to go away. Kar Kolumbu goes well with rice, idli and dosa. Now we have to add tamarind extract to give the sour taste after we have to boil it for 5 minutes till the oil separates from the dish after the oil separates we have to garnish it with curry leaves and coriander leaves that's all yummy karakolumbu is ready for rice or any different